have you ever opened Framer and just stared at the blank canvas like, where do I even start? Yeah, I have been that too. Today, I'm giving you the complete roadmap to go from I know nothing about Framer to building real websites, even for clients, without writing a single line of code. And no, this isn't one of those generic videos. This is a hands-on speak directly to you kind of roadmap. So get comfortable, pass whenever you need, try things out. Let's get into the video. Phase 1. Before you even open Framer Before you dive into Framer, I want you to step back and really think about what makes a website look professional and modern. Websites aren't just about pretty colors or cool fonts. It's about design principles that make your site easy to use and trustworthy. Spend these first few days getting your eyes trained. Look at websites on places like Mobin, Landbook or Awards. Ask yourself things like, why does this section feel balanced? How is the spacing working here? What draws your eye first? Learn about white spaces, that empty space around elements. It's not wasted space. It's what keeps your design clean. Understand typographic basics. Stick to one or two fonts. Use size and weight to create a clear hierarchy. Get familiar with color theory. How to pick colors that work well together and keep things accessible. And pay attention to visual hierarchy. You want the user's eyes to move naturally from one thing to the next. Mastering these basics before touching Framer will make everything you do inside the tool so much easier and better. Phase 2. Getting hands-on with Framer fundamentals. Now it's time to open Framer and get your hands dirty. Create a blank project. Don't start with template just yet. You need to learn the basics from scratch. First, get comfortable with frames. These are like containers or divs in code. Everything on your page lives inside frames section, cards, buttons. Learn about stacks, which let you create flexible layouts that automatically space and align your content both vertically and horizontally. Play with text settings, font size, weight, line height, and alignment. Make sure your text scales well on different screen sizes by using responsive music. Speaking of responsive, explore how Framer handles breakpoints. Learn to switch layouts for desktop, tablet, and mobile, so your site looks good everywhere. Start building competence. Reusable elements like buttons, headers, and photos. Components save your time and help keep your design consistent. By the end of the phase, you should be able to recreate a basic landing page visually, making it responsive, and organize your content with competence. Phase 3. Design systems and adding interactions. Now we are stepping up the game. Create a design system inside a framework. This means setting global styles for your typography and colors. A design system keeps everything consistent and professional looking. Next, add life to your site with micro interactions. Think hover effects, tap animations, or scroll based rebates. These small animations guide the user's attention and make your site feel dynamic. But don't overdo it. Try adding Lottie animations or GIFs from places like Lottie files to bring your site to life with motion graphics. Build a navigation bar that sticks to the top and mobile hamburger menu. These are in hard with framers, component, and doubles. Phase 4 working with CMS and multi-page sites. You're ready to get more advanced. Framer CMS let you build a dynamic content, blogs, portfolios, testimonials with structured collections. Create a collection, say for projects with fields like title, image, and description. Then design a template page that automatically populates with content from the CMS. This means you can easily add or update projects without redesigning the pages. Set up your multi-page website flow. Homepage, about, blog, contact, and use components for 
consistent headers and footers across all pages. Don't forget SEO. Add meta titles, description, alt text, and social preview images so your site is ready to get found on Google and shared on social media. Phase 5. Polishing and publishing like a pro. You have built something good. Now it's time to polish it up. Audit your site carefully. Check that spacing is consistent on all screen sizes. Animations are smooth, fonts are readable, and all links work. Connect a custom domain with the framer's hosting. This takes just a few minutes. Make sure your social sharing looks great by uploading an open graph image. So when you share your sign on Twitter or LinkedIn, it stands out. Finally, prepare a launch post. Show the problem your site solves. Include a short screen recording and explain your design thinking behind the sections. This builds stress and credibility with clients or your audience. Phase 6. Beyond your first project, building your career. You have launched your first site. Now build your second project, but with a niche in mind. Maybe a SaaS landing page or personal brand or a creative agency. Explore tools that complement Framer. Figma for wireframes and UI prep. Realm for UI kits and wireframe libraries. Icon and image libraries like Icons A and Pixels. Copywriting help from ChatGPT. And it's time to start your client journey. Set up your framework profile. Send cold DMs with your portfolio. Apply on freelance sites. Share your work on LinkedIn and X to attract inbound clients. Look, in just 30 days, with just half an hour daily, you can go from no code beginner to your confident framework developer who builds beautiful, responsive, and dynamic websites. Framework is free to start, and the community is awesome, and the demand for no code developer is booming. If you are ready to start building your first site, I have got loads more tutorial, template walkthroughs, and live buildings in my channel. Hit like and subscribe if you want to follow this journey and drop a comment below where you are right now in a no code journey. You have got 30 days. I hope you will do much more. See you in the next one.